Hey there, how y'all doing today? We are continuing on this train for Black Maternal Health Week. And when I look back at my video from yesterday, I realized that I did not talk to y'all about postpartum experiences of Black women, nor did I talk to y'all about how to get back to yourself. Cause I just was, I just was trying to give y'all the facts and I was running my mouth and I forgot. So I'm gonna really quickly just talk about the postpartum experiences of black women um, based off of the facts that I shared yesterday in my post. You can go back and look at it if you want to, but based on all those things that black women go through to have kids, bring kids into this world, our pregnancy experiences, our prenatal experiences, listen, postpartum gonna look real different for us and it's gonna be real complex, okay? Um, and you know, we might not have symptoms right away because we are also in survival mode because we are trying to keep a little human alive. So I always like to tell people to just pay close attention to how a black woman is functioning. You gotta take laser eye view at how she's functioning, what she's doing um, and how she's showing up because most of the time, we continue to show up and people think that we are functioning when we really not. So just want to put that out there as far as our, our postpartum experiences. We really, really got to pay attention to how a black woman is actually functioning and what she's doing and if any of that has changed. Um, I go into deeper detail in um, my workshops and things like that, but that's one key thing that you can always look for in a black woman is how is she um, functioning and how is she just managing life, right? And then what can we do to get back to ourselves? Listen, one thing that I encourage, encourage, and encourage is, listen, we gotta, we gotta listen to some music. Y'all know I be on here talking about music. We listen to a whole palette of music in this house, okay? From gospel to R&B, to you know some edited rap and then we can go on to Gracie's Corner and then we might loop all around to some jazz and some instrumental. But whatever you do, listen to some music. It does a lot to kind of shift the way you are thinking and just get you in a good mood. And get out the house, change your scenery, walk around the block, just take in whatever it is that you're seeing and take in life. I write about this in my newsletter. Um, I just kind of shared my newsletter yesterday. If you ain't subscribed to my newsletter, listen, I, I, what are you doing? It's free. The link is in my bio. But I talk about it in my newsletter. Like I give mommies a breakdown on what they can do when they walk so that they can kind of have like a mindful walk. So those are just some ways you can get back to yourself, honey. Those are some ways we can pay attention to what's going on with the black woman when she is experiencing postpartum. And those are the ways we're gonna keep bringing awareness to this issue, okay? So until the next time I decide to log on here, to post, to show up, to do anything on here on social media, I want you to make sure that you do something to help you bloom into your best self and continue spreading awareness about Black Maternal Health Week. Alrighty, y'all. I'll see you later.